I had the immense privilege of working with Amy Adams in the summer of 2015 on a film called Arrival. <laughs> Anyone who has seen Arrival will understand when I say that the film owes everything to her astonishing performance. Her ability to navigate emotionally through different simultaneous time periods, to express wonder and fear, and to explore, explore grief and sorrow, still amaze me to this day. Amy made us believe in an unknown life form and introduced us to the idea that language can transform our perception, perception of time, mostly without speaking. Cinema, like any art form, is an act of presence. Artists have the ability to fully embrace the moment and bring meaning into the world we live in through the sheer power of their artistic expression. But very few have the incredible focus and capacity to transcend the present with such poetic force as Amy. Being in the presence of Amy Adams while she performed in front of the camera has been one of the highlights of my career. There is something unique about her. Very often, actors use external artifice to help them dig into a character and create the simulacrum. Now, you have to understand that this is all a big mise-en-scene from Cameron Bailey and I. This speech has been carefully been designed and written with very difficult English words. <laughs> and it is, has been so, so I can prove tonight that I truly improve my English language to Amy Adams. So where were we? Create the simulacrum of a new psyche, but not Amy. What she accomplished feels like it's coming from deep within her, radiating outside like a new identity, forged like a diamond from the death. That's a tough one. Amy mesmerizes us each time she's on screen. Think, think about all the women who have found expression through her. A promiscuous cheerleader, a chipper, expectant mother, and a determinedly optimistic nun. <laughs> uh, Harried, I practiced that one, a uh, Harried. <laughs> Underemployed writer seeking joy through cooking, a ferocious and manipulative wife of a cult leader, a cartoon princess come to life, a linguist rattled by what life has thrown at her, tasked by the government to, communi co to communicate with alien life. A smart, resilient woman, so damaged by her childhood that she turns to razor blades and alcohol. And in her latest and possibly most exciting role to date, a new mom who fears she's turning into a dog. <laughs> It's a, totally, it's a totally fearless performance, possibly her best yet, which speaks volumes about her extraordinary and wide-ranging career. It's my immense honor to present Amy Adams with the TIFF Tribute Performance, <laughs> TIFF Tribute Performance Award, yes. To me. I mean, honestly, to have those words spoken by someone who means so much to me that I had such a pleasure of working with, truly one of the highlights of my career, it moves me uh, beyond. And I really appreciate you being here. I love you deeply. I respect you deeply. Um, whew, all right. Um, I really did want to thank Cameron and Tiff for presenting me with this tribute. Um, and I wanted to thank you for hosting a festival that platforms films of so many genres with such unique voices and audiences and impacts. It's really a beautiful thing to witness. Um, I'm very honored to be here tonight among all of the activists, the artists, and the visionaries who have inspired me both on screen and off for um, 
I'm not really going to say how long, but a long time. It's been a bit. And I'm truly moved to be here this evening. Um, it's especially meaningful for me to be here this year as a mother, getting to present a film about motherhood. About, thank you. <laughs> about parenthood, about isolation and identity and transformation and relationships and community, so many other things. It is such an honor. Um, also, I, I get to be here tonight with a wonderful team of collaborators, with Matthew Greenfield and Fox Searchlight, with my team of six strong female producers. I want to thank you so much. With our fearless novelist, Rachel Yoder. The beautiful Scoop McNeary, thank you so much. Um, and the brilliant Marielle Heller. Absolutely. I've told, I've said this story a lot and I'm gonna say it again. When I got this material, when I had the opportunity to read the book, there was no one else that I could envision bringing to life the material in the personal and thoughtful way that Marielle has done. Um, her talent of tone, her bold approach gave me the courage to dive into this ferocious material. Um, Marielle, you challenge us with topics that seem taboo, but are universal. You're my kind of bitch, Mari. <laughs> and I'll never miss an opportunity to thank my amazing team who have guided me not only through my career, but through my life in desperate dark moments, in celebration. So just gonna shout out real quick, it's a list, hold tight, they each mean something to me. That's Howard Altman, Jason Sloan, Harris Hartman, Megan Pachone, Tori Cobb, the team at Narrative, um, Michelle Bowen, Danny Potter, uh, Adriana Albergetti, my entire team at WME, who I've been with since the beginning, um, my brother, who I work with, with Kate Clifford and Eddie Adams at my Bond Group Entertainment. We were lucky enough to be a part of the production of this team, so proud of that. And I'm running on and on. <laughs> um, and then Stacey O'Neill, who is my production partner, my manager, who I've been with for a bit, <laughs> again, uh, over 25 years. But each of you, thank you so much for picking up the phone and for having those conversations with me. That is an investment of time, let me tell you. Um, and also, mostly, I want to thank my family, my husband, and my daughter. Darren, you have been a rock through everything. You are so strong and so stable and so brilliant. I love you deeply. And to my daughter, Aviana, who this is the first time, sorry. sorry. This is the first time that she's gotten to be in an event like this with me. And so I get to tell her in front of you all how much I'm grateful for making me not only a better mother, but a better person. Every day, you challenge me to be the best I can be. Thank you.